Good morning. How are you, friends? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about a definite integral. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Calculate the definite integral. The limits are from minus pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. And we have to integrate sine square x plus 1 dx. So, solution. Here we will utilize the formula that cosine of 2x, cosine of 2x is equal to One minus two sine square x. Okay, so if we add two sine square x on both sides, we get two sine square. We'll add two sine square x on this side also. So we will get two sine square x plus cosine two x is equal to one. Now, we will subtract cosine 2x from both sides. And we get 2 sine square x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x. Now, we will divide by 2 on both sides. And we will get sine square x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x divided by 2. We will substitute this uh, expression for sine square x in the original problem. So we will get integration from minus pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. For sine square x, I will write 1 minus cosine 2x divided by 2 plus 1 dx. Okay. Okay. So, I can simplify this by minus pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. And I can write this as 1 minus cosine 2x by 2 plus 2 over 2. Right? 1 can be written as 2 over 2 dx. Okay. So this becomes equal to minus pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Now 2 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 minus half cosine 2x and integration with respect to x dx. Okay, so now we do the integration and this will be 3 by, so inside the, this type of parenthesis, 3 by 2 integrated with respect to x is x and integration of cosine 2x is plus half sine x. So plus half times half becomes the half is coming because the other half is coming because cosine 2x when you integrate with respect to x is a plus half sine x. So half times half uh, becomes one fourth minus one fourth sine 2x. And then outside the parenthesis we put the Two limits is minus pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Right? So, this will be equal to 3 by 2 for x, pi over 2, minus minus pi over 2. So, there is a minus pi over 2 is a lower limit. So minus minus will become a plus pi over 2 for x. Okay. Minus 
one fourth and then sine two pi over two and then minus sine minus two pi over two. Okay. Now uh, let me take care of this. Okay. This so I, this and you oops. I just want to move this a little bit up, basically. Okay, so. So now we have equal to What happened? Let me make sure I have this in. That's a good thing. Keep it in the eyes. Something happened. Anyways, the second two terms, sine 2 pi over 2 minus sine minus 2 pi over 2, these are all zeros because sine 2 pi by 2 means basically sine pi minus sine of minus pi. Both of the terms are zero. So they disappear and we have 3 by 2 and pi by 2 appears twice. So basically the answer is pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is a pi. So 3 pi by 2 is the answer, final answer. But I would like to write this up if I can. So my question is. Anyway, so you understand the second term disappears and 3 by the first term only remains, which is 3 by 2 multiplied by pi by 2 plus pi by 2, which is pi. So the final answer is 3 multiplied by pi divided by 2. That is the final answer of this definite integral. The second term disappears because both of the sign terms are 0. So the final answer is 3 pi over 2. I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And... I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And um, if you like this video, please share this with your friends and your friends and yourself. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.